Hello. So you want to learn how to create a taxonomy using Google Spreadsheets um, with various tabs at the bottom. That's why you're watching this. To do so, we're going to go up to the Create button. And we're going to create a new spreadsheet. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and just add my A through, uh, I think it's M here, and my N through P there. And once you've got all the letters in, you can do a little bit of formatting. And I'm going to make this uh, column quite a bit larger. Maybe about that big. I'm going to make this one quite a bit smaller. That's just to separate the two columns. This one will be as wide as the other column. Okay. I always want to remember to give my documents names. So go ahead and click on the name up here, and I'll just call it taxonomy. Now, you'd be giving it a much more specific name, like taxonomy for fractions, or taxonomy of geometric shapes, or geometry. Okay. Then you might want to do some formatting with the colorings of the columns. And so since this is going to be a different color than the other column to differentiate, I highlight the cells in which I want to make a certain color. I go up here to the paint can, and I'll just fill that with a nice lavender. And click there and drag, I'm clicking and dragging. And you've got that nice other brown. <laughs> And then you could give some directions up in um, the cells above it. Like that. Okay. And once you have all of the formatting done exactly how you like it, maybe I'll make these a little bit wider to do so. I'll select all of the cells here. And then once I get that little crossbar, drag it down, and they should all reformat the same way. Okay. Once we get that done, I'm going to name this sheet. So I click on this. I'm going to go up to rename, and let's just say that you're doing taxonomies on, on mathematics again. Okay, so we do number operations on this sheet, and then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to copy everything on here instead of redoing everything. So when I click on this, the cell up here in between 1 and A, it selects everything, and then I'm going to do a Command C to copy. And then I'm going to add another sheet by clicking the plus button down in the lower left-hand corner. And I can rename the sheet. Let's just call this measurement. And then it's already in cell A1. I just hit Command V as in Velcro to paste. And Shazam, I've got my second sheet. To add a third sheet, I go back over to the plus button, add another sheet, I'll go ahead and rename this one as well. Bob. Call this maybe, oh, what's another one? Geometry. And I'll hit enter to get out of the renaming. Click up here to A1, Command V to paste. And voila, I've got my second sheet. Okay, now you do that for all of the sheets that you want down here. Then the most important thing that you have to remember to do is you have to share this so that other people can edit it. Now with your students, you're going to go to get the shareable link. And if you wanted them to log in, you could keep this selected. But go down to and can edit. That way they would have to sign in so that you could see who's um, included additions and who's um, added certain things to your spreadsheets. Another option would be that you could go to public on the web. That means anybody can find it and access it. And in this case, they can edit it. I think to get started with, um, you probably want to do people at Eden Prairie Schools can find and access. And don't forget to make sure that they can edit it. Otherwise, it'll be very frustrating. You click Save. This is the link that you copy. So click in there once. I do Command C to copy it. And then I'm all done. Then all you have to do is you have to share that link with your students, and then they can easily access this taxonomy spreadsheet in any of the sheets that are in here. Let me know if you have any questions.